hello guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, in today's video we are going to discuss about homebrew so homebrew is basically a package manager uh, which is specifically more specifically not specifically like miss which is mostly used for mac operating system uh, so basically it's a package manager uh, which will help you to install uh, different application on Mac uh, OS devices uh, so in order to uh, install or, or check you you already it's already installed or not you just have to open terminal and I, you're gonna install uh, right uh, view and press enter so it will tell you like currently it says command not found view so that means it's, it's not installed on this mac uh, device so uh, so first we're gonna open in order to install that let's open new window let's maximize it so we're gonna open view.sh so this is the official site of homebrew so it's written like it's a package manager for mac os so they have they, they have a they, they provide you a lot of stuff, documentation, uh, community discussions, home view packages list. We will come later to this section. Uh, but in order to install it, like just copy this one and we can uh, just paste it and press enter. So it's going to ask the password. It will take a bit time to download it and then install it on my uh, machine so while installing we can go to their official website so there are actually let's open their documentation uh, so this is the all this is all the documentation related to different things uh, uh, but I actually want to go to uh, packages actually I want to go here so just to tell you about this uh, this is very important so guys this is very important to understand what is formula and what is cask so basically formula is for example you want to install some kind of library like if you want to install node uh, more like you know command based uh, stuff you can install through formula and cask is basically an extended form of that like for example uh, uh, in order i want to install uh, firefox firefox is a gui based and it has an awesome graphical user interface so we can all those packages comes in cask so it's more like you know uh, for example formula brew is the main class and uh, cask is you know the extended version of that so let's see if it's installed or not it's it will take a roughly uh, you know eight to nine minutes uh, to install it's still installing at the moment so i'm going to uh, sh uh, tell you about uh, some commands how you can install some packages how you can uh, there are different commands available uh, with brew which are like uh, quite basics and uh, which will help you to understand like which application needs to install what is which needs to be upgraded which is outdated uh, <coughs> then clean up uh, update uh, if you want to uninstall if something happened like if uh, uh, your view got messed up so these all things you can uh, do it in view so in the meantime let's check different packages so let's move to this formula like we're gonna check uh, this this package 
so it will tell you uh, how to install this one uh, what's the what's it's referred to and uh, there its dependencies so normally it will install everything for you it's currently installing at the moment it will take bit time actually so basically these are all homebrew formulae and let's go to these casks so i am going to you can see these are all gui based uh, stuff let's see if atom yeah for example i want to install atom so for example uh, this is all about cask so these are all casks package uh, so uh, for example if I, I if i have to install uh, android sdk android studio i can use uh, casks command so i'm going to tell you like what are the commands which will help you out to uh, install these things Uh, similarly one more thing is atom i actually want this is the atom browser you know uh, so it will tell you all about it's a text editor uh, so yeah it tells you the command as well how to install it so, so you just have to copy these and paste in your terminal and it will automatically install for you so welcome back guys so now uh, you can see uh, it's 100 percent installed so in order to check everything work is installed perfectly fine so previously when you write brew on the fresh installed uh, machine it uh, it will say like command doesn't exist like it's it the it, the, the or the terminal or the, your operating system doesn't know about brew so now i'm going to write brew so see it's it start searching for the uh, commands list so so these are all the lists commands list it's actually providing so brew doctor install create edit and uh, uh, info uh, update upgrade uninstall list so these are all the stuff it's actually uh, this uh, brew provided at the moment. So I'm, let's let me clear with the screen and we'll see again brew. So as you will see now, like we have all the list of command mentioned here. So now, uh, for example, now we want to test like what what for example I want to see which has a gui version available or not i'm going to for example in case of firefox i will like view info firefox i will write draw info so guys uh, when you're working with brew you need to really know about two things one is brew formula and the other is brew cask so brew formula is more like command line based things like git you are installing any other packages uh, which is basically more like uh, you can do handle it through command base so it's more like uh, you know you, you are running git bash commands you are running um, some other like node commands uh, and with uh, cask it's 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 more like you know gi gui based application like firefox chrome uh, some browser uh, some uh, editor atom for example so guys uh, for example uh you want to see some uh, you want to actually search some uh formulae or you want to list all formulae or casks 
installed on your Mac, you just have to write uh, view list. So okay, let's see what are the commands available. So I will write help. So these are all the stuff commands which will uh, tell you all or you know all the uh, extra uh, options you need to pass on so for example if you want to use to see formula or cask you just have to pass these two parameters like uh, one parameter and it will automatically tell you like what kind of uh, formula uh, uh, cli based uh, system or package installed on your uh, through brew but if you install for example if you install git already uh, it doesn't considered in brew because you didn't install it through brew so this is the simple logic so what i will do is i will say brew list dash cask so as i explained previously the cask is basically gui based so for so far there is uh, nothing installed uh, through brew on the on this system so what i will do is i will search brew search firefox Let, let actually let's clear it first so i will say view for example now i have to install firefox so i will I, like before that first we need to see either the cask or the formula of the particular packages available like how is it a cask or formula so we're gonna simply search through with uh, there is a command like brew search so I'm going to write view search Firefox. So you see it, it's already showing me all the cask versions of the casks of the Firefox. So it's beta developer edition, ESR nightly or Firefox. Similarly, we're going to search with Git. So so it's gonna come up with all the whatever is available with git so it's currently let me make my screen bigger so currently it's showing all the let's yeah, actually clear it so i'm going to view search git so it's currently showing so it's see it's mentioned here it's formulae this is formulae and this is cask available for the particular package so it's it's quite handy you can find formulae and casks very easily on brew okay so now uh, i'm going to install one uh, application which is called atom or like firefox uh, let's install uh, firefox actually so what i for that one you have to write brew let's clear first brew install firefox so now it, it's it's saying home brew cask so that means it's more or less uh, a cask you can install all the stuff through this uh, homebrew like it, it's it's like you say it's a perfect uh, thing for this mac os like you just install rather than downloading it or anything you just simply download it and uh, download view on your mac os and run those commands and you can install all the application so now this will this is actually it will take a bit time uh to download it and then it's going to install it so once it's done i will uh, resume the video 
so now you can see uh, it's installed uh, so in order to check that let us like command spacebar and we'll write firefox so you see it's installed so i'm going to click on this one so it's gonna ask me open it i'm going to open it see so you see this firefox is installed uh, through brio so mm, there are some other commands uh, for example if you want to uh, now we'll see list dash first let me clear the screen create view list dash talk so it's it's currently showing that firefox is installed through brew so i am going to now close this one Stats. it's gone so in order to uninstall it similarly if you want to uh, uninstall uh, the particular application which is installed through brew you just have to write brew uninstall And it's done okay so I'm going to just write again Fox so there is nothing available uh, with uh, Firefox so uh, similarly there are other commands like uh, if for example I have to uh, update any application so I am going to write brew update and for example uh, uh, I have to update Firefox. I will write brew update Firefox. It will update the uh, updated to the latest. Uh, it will show you. It will show you first. This is the updated version, and then it will automatically install it. So one of the other important stuff is like there are some of the applications uh, which the passage of time we are using it, but we don't know like either it's outdated or it needs to be updated uh, so this is very very crucial to see like which of your applications are outdated so uh, let me view I'm going to write view enter so there is this command view uh, outdated is there I don't know where is it Set view outdated. So currently, so there, it's not mentioning here, but in in the, in the documentation you will see there is one command. It's called outdated, which will actually tell you which of the your applications are actually outdated, like which needs to be upgraded actually. So you can quickly uh, upgrade it from there. So there are some other commands. Uh, for example, if you're, uh, mm, I'm going to clear this one. For example, somehow something got messed up with your brew and you don't know what to do. You, there is a command called brew doctor and it will automatically uh, check all the issues uh, or if, if there is some issue with your brew, it's going to fix it and it will tell you like th this is done now you can uh, run it uh, without any issue so currently it's saying uh, your system is ready to brew so so far there is no issue with it so that's that's I think fine so that's it if you have any question you can post it in the comment and I will try to answer that uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you